All right, what's up, dudes? Max here. So, uh, night was about to end. You would feel that this ridiculous week of fighting game announcements, reveals, trailers, and everything of the like would possibly come to a head, and it hasn't. And there's even another one, uh, DNF Duel, the uh, Dungeon Fighter game that I don't think we've seen anything on this game for like a year. It's kind of crazy that over the past couple of days, we got a huge update for Project L. We actually figured out it's going to be a game, what kind of game it's going to be. And that was like two years in the making. And now a complete year of seeing nothing about DNF Duel. And um, there's another trailer. I don't think it's super long. I haven't seen the, the, this trailer in full. And I do remember the previous trailer looked a little rough around the edges. It didn't look like it's up to like the super quality of um, usual Arc System Works games. But this is not generally uh, just an Arc System Works game. They are made by Aiding. And um, that's actually really interesting because Aiding hasn't been in the fighting game industry uh, for a while now. This might be their first big comeback game. And what was the last big fighting game they made? It was a little title called uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So uh, that has me pretty fascinated, pretty curious. These guys have some pretty great uh, repertoire in their in their sleeves. So I want to see what the hell they're capable of. And I, uh, I'm curious to see more characters that could possibly be in this thing and how they've essentially approached the game now. But before we get started, thank you guys. If you leave a like on the video, YouTube absolutely requires this now and I've never had to ask for it. So if you do enjoy this stuff, likes are really important. And of course, subscribing means a ton. Let's check this thing out. I already kind of like the music. I, I do not hate it. I think these are the same first couple of characters we saw before and Punch Girl. Damn! Damn. Looking pretty, at least to me, it seems like it looks pretty similar. I don't remember Judo, dude. The gunslinger guy was absolutely here last year, yeah. I wish I knew more about the, the original game, like about Dungeon Fighter. I really don't. This would be, like, a large introduction to how, like, the characters work and what they do. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's it? Everyone's freaking out about 20 seconds? Okay, yeah, it does look really good. I mean, it does look good. Um, but holy crap, dude, you've been gone for a year! Uh... So from what I remember, the big thing about Dungeon Fighter is like special to special cancels, things of the like gameplay wise. I don't know if we got a huge amount of reveal um, specifically from gameplay. This guy looks badass. That is a lot different from before. Uh, but I do think it generally looks really good. I don't think it's like hitting the crazy levels. Damn this girl. Damn! Damn! I, I don't think it's hitting the general levels of like, you know, the high-end Dragon Ball Fighters characters or, you know, Guilty Gear Strive, but it doesn't need to because Arc System Works art style is absolutely friggin' amazing. And now we're even seeing games like Project L taking something kind of similar. Uh, Punch Girl looks really fun. I don't not remember like General Judo Guy. Well, well you guys have to tell me, was this like a sort of generic sort of fighter dude? Uh, and I'm kind of curious how many buttons and attacks they're gonna have. But it does look really friggin' cinematic. Like, holy, holy crap. No sign of anything teams. It looks like it is going to be 1v1 still. Uh, but dude, this, this stuff right here, this crazy looking Helsing, Helsing slash like Trigun looking gunslinger guy. Super anime gunslinger, dude. This is the guy I wanted. This is, I'm not gonna lie. This is sort of what I wanted Happy Chaos to be. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a weird weeb. Uh, I wanted Happy Chaos to sort of be like this dude. Because this looks like insanely cool, uh, insanely stylistic combos. This, this is literally what I'm looking for in a, in a dual wielding gunslinger. Actually, is he even dual wielding? He might not be. He might just pop him out every once in a while. Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. We have an armor break here? It almost looks like it. Holy crap. Axe chick is kind of dope. I'm glad they gave the girl uh, like a huge axe wielding sort of thing. That's sort of breaking usual tropes. But, you know, heavy guts sword dude. 
This looks badass. I'm actually super happy that they're getting nutty with the cinematic stuff. This looks quite cool. Uh, it looks like it's a bit low end though. I'm kind of curious what this is planning on being because so many of these games are like, there's a big question is that, are they going to be free to play? Are they going to be full release? Is this going to have story mode? Is it going to be limited? Like, I don't know if we have much else information about DNF Duel, but you know what I'm curious? I want to go look up the previous trailer to see how different it is because this, I feel like it mostly looks the same after a year. So here's the trailer from uh, last year. And I'm curious to see if it's not running in, you know, quarter speed. So here's the first reveal. Yeah, Judo guy was in here. That's right. This still looks good. Like, no joke, we got to see another cinematic super for, like, the main Greatsword character? Dude, well, this... The new trailer looks like it is practically just an extended version of the trailer that we saw a year ago. I'm really curious if, like, they just had to put something up to remind people that it exists because they're possibly, hopefully, working on some sort of big reveal of gameplay of trailers or something. Um, because, man, that was very... That was actually very similar, and I'm kind of surprised how similar it was. Uh, the Dungeon Fighter RPG of 16 years is now back as a 2.5D fighting game. Join the battle as Berserker. The all the classes that you're essentially playing as. Um, and that's it. Like, they have a Twitter, they have a Facebook. Dude, I would, I would love to know when this game is approximately coming out. I would love to know, like, what the heck their actual plans are for a release. And, uh how they're going to approach that, but I, I really feel this is kind of a, a weird one because we got a huge update to a game that we haven't seen in a long time, which was Project L, and we just got the exact same thing again with DNF Duel, but at least Project L was like, okay, we have some new information because our game is actually, this is what our game is gonna be. And DNF Duel is like, this is the same thing we kind of showed you before, but here's even more to make you even more pissed off that you'd we'd have no idea when it's coming out or where it's going to be. I have words with the marketing team. Uh, either way, I think it looks great. I am uh, kind of excited with the way uh, how bombastic and uh, crazy the characters look because they do look a bit different than obviously the usual arc system works, you know, Grand Blue, Dragon Ball, everything of the like. They got a bit of style to them. And I think that's good. I think it's good to see how this engine and all this stuff in the hands of even other developers like aiding, how they're going to approach it. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this one, guys. Don't worry. Anyway, thank you guys a ton for watching. Once again, I appreciate the thumbs up. We'll be back with more later. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time.